Hello everyone. In this video, we will teach you how to make your first HTML web page or website. First, we need an editor. There are several, several editors you can use. Like Notepad++, Visual Studio Code, Notepad, Text Edit, Text Wrangler, Sublime Text, a lot of them. However, I recommend using Notepad++. Make sure to download it from the official website. Once you got the download, just follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Once you got it installed, you should get this window. If it seems to be giving an option to update, just update it. What's next? First, you'll need to create a file. So, once you get the file, save it. However, there's a specific way of saving it. Once you type your file name, you must save it as hypertext markup language html htm everything that's here okay now that you got your file what's next next is to put the angle angular brackets now in now in html html is like a block language that is, everything is separated in blocks. And you create the blocks in this structure. Opening angular bracket, the name, closing angular bracket, whatever follows inside, then opening angular bracket, a slash, and then the name, and then the closing angular bracket. This is how the structure goes. So let's begin. First, we need an angular bracket called HTML. This is the brackets that tell the computer HTML code is right there. Next, inside those brackets, you will need a pair of head tags. The head is where you put all background information that you don't want to display to the people viewing it. So inside the brackets, now this is optional. You can put the title brackets and inside those two, you can put whatever name you want for the website. This name will appear right here. If you have used tabs before, you, have to, you would have noticed that the tab has a name. That's the name we will be setting between these tags. So inside the tags, I'll just put this. Okay, now after the head tags, we need a pair of body tags. This is where the HTML code that will create the content that will display to the public will be pasted. So inside, we need a header. So for a header, uh, a first class header, that is like the biggest header you can have, you use h1. So h1 and then slash h1. Inside the two, you just keep what you want to enter. Uh, I'll just keep this. Now, 
let's run it. But how do you run it? Well, you need to open the file at the location wherever it was stored. So you need to open your file manager and then go to wherever it was so, uh, stored. And then you double click the file or just right click open or open with followed by whatever app you want to use. Look, the heading which I kept here shows right here. And the H1 title which I kept here shows right here. I think it's evident if I change this. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to view changes that you've made, you can either reopen the file or just reload the page, either by using Control R, Command R, or just clicking the reload button. So this is how you make your very first program. But there is one small note. Some text editors don't uh, like HTML very much, but the number of those text editors are really less compared to the number of text editors that support well, pretty much everything. Some examples of the text editors that support are Notepad, Notepad++, Text Edit, Text Wrangler, Sublime Text, and then VS Code, Visual Studio. And so on. Note that Notepad and Notepad++ are for Windows, and Text Edit and Text Wrangler are for Mac, and Sublime Text and VS Code are uh, can work for any operating system. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.